Hello and welcome to this video series. What we're going to do in the next few videos is look at drawing bitmaps onto a OLED screen using an Arduino. Once we've drawn the bitmaps we're then going to animate them and eventually we will create a class which will animate um, these bitmaps. So we're going to create an animation class so we'll be able to have a uh, bitmap drawn onto the screen uh, that won't block the Arduino microcontroller. In fact, we'll be able to create multiple instances of the class so we can draw multiple bitmaps on the screen at the same time. This video series will be split into eight different parts. So this is part one, which is the intro, then part two, will be uh, designing the circuit and how to link up your screen to the Arduino. Part 3 will show us how to create XBM images and import them into Arduino IDE. Those XBM images will be each frame of the animation. Part 4 will write the code, uh, just some quick code on how to draw a bitmap and then animate it. This code won't be very good, it'll be blocking the Arduino but we'll do this because then we'll build upon that in part 5 where we'll create a class to do the same thing. Um, this class will be non-blocking so we can have multiple instances of the class and then in part 6 we'll export the class and create a library from that class. Um, part 7 we'll show you how to use that library and then in part 8 we'll tidy up the class and we'll store the bitmap bitmaps in prog mem rather than in runtime memory. So you might be wondering whether this video series is for you. Now if you're interested in or want to know how to draw animations or bitmaps onto these OLED screens then um, this is for you. Um, we're going to use the UHG2 library and part of this video is I will show you how to install that library. Um, it's a great library, brilliant to use and it allows us to use the functionality of various screens quite easily. Now I'll be using a, a, a 1.3 inch monochrome screen using the SH1106 uh, screen driver or chipset. Um, however if you've got a different screen you can use that in the same way, you just need to change the constructor um, when you create your um, screen object within Arduino IDE. The UHG2 library is compatible with lots and lots and lots of different types of screens. Um, so have a look at that and see which one you want to use. We'll be connecting the screen to the Arduino using hardware I squared C. Um, this is the best way to do it. It's quite fast and reliable. You can also get screens which are connected using SPI. I've decided to use, use I squared C. Uh, because it's easier to connect, it's two wires and it's a lot easier than SPI. In the examples I will be using an Arduino Nano uh, IoT33 um, but you can use any microcontroller you want so if you've got a just an Arduino Nano version 3 you can use that however when we get to writing the code for the class you may run out of memory so you might need a microcontroller with a little bit more memory because these bitmap images and these animations they do take up a lot of memory so for instance the four frame animation that we're going to use of the little bird running across the screen and um, that takes up about six times four so we're looking at one and a half kilobytes um, just for the animation and if you remember your Arduino Nano only has uh, two kilobytes of RAM doesn't it so yeah so you won't be able to do much more but we can get around that by storing the animation in program memory rather than runtime memory which we'll do at the very end but for now what we're going to start off with is I'm going to show you how to install the UHG2 library in Arduino IDE so you need to go to the UHG G2 uh, GitHub page, uh, which all the links for everything will be at the bottom of each video, and also if you go to leap.uk forward slash UHG2, um, all the videos will be there with all the links and resources that you need to follow these tutorials. So if you go to um, to this GitHub page, which I'm showing you now, um, all you need to do to install the library is click on code and then download zip. You will then download the zip file. Uh, which is a library, then you just go into Arduino IDE, click on to sketch, include library, 
and add zip library add that and then find that library that you just downloaded so for me it would be in my downloads folder click on it click on open and it'll import it so uh, then you get the message saying library added to your libraries once you've done that you're good to go so in this video series we're also going to use some software so the software all the software that we use will be uh, freeware so you can download it for free and again the links will be at the bottom of the videos and on the web page at leap.uk um, but I'm just going to quickly tell you what the software is that we're going to be using so we're going to be using a hex editor called FR head and this is FR head we'll be using FR head primarily to create the XB or to copy the XB images into Arduino IDE so that's one bit of software that you need to download we'll also be using GIMP which is a free uh, graphics type software so this is GIMP uh, you can go to the GIMP webpage and you can download that it's really good um, we'll be using that to manipulate the frames for the images so we'll uh, resize them turn them into grayscale and then export them as XBM format which is bitmap format um, and we'll also be using a text editor in tutorial 5 in video number 5 called Sublime Text Editor um, and this is Sublime with some Python code in that I was working on the other day but this is Sublime and this is what we'll be using to create our uh, library that we'll later import into Arduino IDE so as long as you've got that software and also you need to download Arduino IDE you can download that from the Arduino website so now we're going to move on to the next video which will be video number two in this video series and we'll look at uh, connecting the screen up to the Arduino Nano um, and we'll talk a little bit about the screen and different configurations of the screen things you need to look out for and we'll create the circuit then we'll move on to creating the XBM images and then we'll finally write some code so the format of these videos will be um, when we write the code it'll be kind of a code along thing so I'll be writing the code and making the video and annotating the video with my or narrating the video with my voice as I go along um, I'm trying to do it in a, in a way which will flow and in a way that requires the least amount of editing because it, it can take a long time to edit these videos so um, so it's a code along style so depending on what you want to do you can either um, watch the videos and code along at the same time or you can just go to the website leap.uk and download the code and then have a look at the code and if there's bits of the code that you don't understand you can then watch the video for that bit of code um, to try and understand it so it's totally up to you how you use these videos um, the videos where we're writing the code are quite long-winded so for instance video number four is about 50 odd minutes long um, and uh, because I'm writing the code on the fly doing that video um, but everything is explained in that video so you can look at the code yourself and then go back to the video if you want to do that or you can just watch a video and code along at the same time so thank you for watching this I hope that this video series will be informative and useful to you um, so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video